guys, John here at SurfFX, and we're having a look at the new Takuma Wingride 3. So WR3, third generation from these guys. So we've got a lot of progression coming through. Uh, you know, everyone's learning really fast here, and these guys are able to put a new model out with the stuff that they learned from the previous gen. So the WR3, biggest stuff, changes they did, they really try to get the canopy tight. So if you look at this, there is lots of canopy tension here. So it's a three-way ripstop. Uh, there's Kevlar reinforcing on the seams, picking around the leading edge, so it's really quite rigid, but that allows it to have that really nice canopy tension there, so you're not getting it floppy. So even if you hit it here, you're not getting a, a loose floppy trailing edge. So having the canopy tension there, you're not getting this real, a loose floppy trailing edge. You get a nice rigid, uh, say it, you get a rigid frame, and you get a nice tight claw which means the power is located in the front. So when you're, you're holding on, I'll show you the handles, they're pretty cool in a second. You've got the power maintained in the front, which is driving you forward. If it's loose and floppy and it's shifting back, you're gonna be getting backhanded and it's not gonna be driving you forward. So it's all about getting that speed and that helps with maneuverability by keeping that weight all in the front nice and easy. Well, we'll flip it around now and have a look. Now on the inside, you have a look at this. And you know, price-wise, these are one of the best price wings on the market. Now, I had a guy the other day say, oh, it doesn't have a window. Well, once you start winging for a while, you realize the windows are pretty useless. It's hard to even see through them, and it's always in the wrong position anyway. So, helps with durability. It's a lighter material, and of course, the windows don't stretch. So, pretty nice and easy. And of course, that helps keep the cost down. One of the things I just mentioned, the handles, you can check them out, they are, they're soft handles, but still kind of rigid, but look how long they are. So you don't have to, you've got great range to slide your hand to get it a little bit more precise when you're trimming and tuning uh, when you're out winging. So you got three handles, but said with the length of these handles, you really never really having to undo your grip and grasp and reach for it. And you know, it's you know, probably the biggest pain of having short handles is that, that you know, changing from one hand to the other, you gotta temporarily basically sheet out the whole way. Now, they do come with a leash, pretty nice. It's just a one pump setup. They come with the adapter for the pump, easy to don't. You know? um, but you can really see here how rigid that is. And that really allows, you can see with the nice big handle on the front, to really get that stability when it's just flying neutral or you're, it's downwind behind you on a wave. So you just hold on to the front and it's really, it doesn't rock around. It's just nice and easy to, to hold it. So you're not having to fly it off your backhand. When you're just holding it, you can just lightly hold it and it'll just stay where it wants to be. Perfect. If you like these videos, hit the like button and it makes more people see it because of the algorithms. But if you want to see more yourself and get notified, hit the subscribe and there's a little bell next to it. Hit that and you get a notification that we've got a new video. So if you want to see more stuff on the winging, foiling, surfing, kiting, just hit that and uh, you'll be first to know.